happen, isn't it? Yeah. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the auction of 12. Got to get it right, France Street, Mount Waverley. My name is Philip Musat and together with the wonderful team of Harcourt's First of Mount Waverley, we welcome you. It would be nice to say on this beautiful sunny day, but that's not the case. If you want some advice, if you want to talk to somebody about real estate, please. Sue, Brittany, Kyoko, Stan, where's Martin? Here. Where's here? Brian, step forward, have a chat to them after the auction. If you miss out and you're looking for another place like this, right at the moment we can't help you. So let that be uh, just a little thing that tweaks you in the, in the brain, says if I don't buy this one, it's gonna be a long time between drinks. Have a look at what it is. They now call them mid-century modern. To me, they were the cream brickies of the 1950s, 60s and 70s. My oldest brother bought one just like this in Leeds Road in Mount Waverley in the late 60s. Paid $23,000 for it. Sweated on the fact that he thought he'd never be able to pay it back. He sold it a few years ago for $1.6 million. Hadn't touched it at all. That's what's happened in this marketplace. That's what will continue to happen in the future. Mark my words, been in this industry for some 35 years plus now. I know you're saying, come on, Phil, you don't look that old. Thank you very much for that. And for 35 years, I've heard people say, the market's about to crash. I'm waiting for the market to go down. They're still waiting. This time last year, the so-called experts also said that the market was going to take at least a 30% dip. It didn't. Okay, it didn't. But what's going to happen though looking forward is I keep looking at history to see what the future holds. Now that won't just help me with my tax lotto numbers, but in terms of real estate it holds me in good stead. Today will be the cheapest moving forward that you will have an opportunity to buy this property at the reserve price and the reserve price is very very reasonable. Now I have to, I, I do know what it is, don't ask me at this stage, Sue where are you because remember I have to look at, there you are, stay in my eye line please, because Sue's going to give me the nod, right, Sue's going to give me the nod, Sue holds the key to the reserve today, but please if you don't want to buy it, don't stand there doing nothing. This is an auction, I need your participation, and in a moment, I'm going to stop talking, except for asking you a question about how much you want to pay for the place and the property. But until then, I have to advise you that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions made available prior to the commencement of the, uh, the auction. They are the rules that were set out on the uh, kitchen table there, together with the terms and conditions in the contract of sale. The vendors have a reserve price, I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders, and bidders preventing others from bidding provides fines for such conduct. The rules permit vendor bids in saying that though, they only allow me to make a vendor bid and should it be necessary for me to do so, you will know very, very clearly that it is a vendor bid because I will state that it is a vendor bid. Most importantly though, 
the rules of the auction state that once I declare the property sold, I cannot take a late bid. So if I'm not looking your way, you want to buy it, when I get to the stage where I'm about to declare it sold, please don't hold back, yell out loudly that you wish for the auction to continue so that I can sell it to you. Okay, it is a really simple process. Contract for sale is a simple, straightforward document calling for an impossible 60 to 90 days. If you want to buy it for property in the name of a company, simply going to ask that you sign a guarantee. If you're bidding for somebody who could not attend this afternoon, the nomination and substitution clause is intact, and you can nominate and substitute the ultimate purchaser in due course. Forming part of the documentation is the section 32. All the relevant certificates are attached to it, a copy of the title which shows that what we're offering you is an outstanding allotment of some 730 square metres of prime residential real estate. I hope you all enjoyed the coffee and as I said to the neighbours, if I'd known the barbecue was on, I would not have stopped at Hungry Jack's between the last auction and this one. So, Sue, Brittany, next time you know the neighbours are going to do that, please let me know. <laughs> Did mention the size of the block. You've got a wide frontage, some 17.2 metres. Have a look. Driveway, driveway, two crossovers. They're as rare as hen's teeth. For those of you who are looking at this property, maybe of, I'll split it down the middle, subject, of course, to getting the necessary approvals. Built side by side, you've already got your driveways. It's not something you're going to have to worry about. Again, so think about that. But what we've got is, as I said, mid-century modern. You stand at three bedrooms out the back, there's a granny flat. Why would you put granny out there? I don't know, but that's what we call them. I actually said to Stan, it's a his and hers. And he said, yours though is in the garage. And I said, thank you, Stan. But it is, if you're looking at this property and you want to buy it purely and simply, put a tenant in the front, put a tenant in the back, or move into the front, put a tenant in the back. What did you say, Sue? About 460 to 480 a week for the front one, and about three, write it down, 320, 330 for the back one, conservatively. So bear that in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an opportunity for someone. This property has been in the one family for many, many years. And I'm not sure, and maybe the neighbours can tell me, if they moved in in the 1950s when this area was subdivided up, whether our vendors were actually the, the first occupiers and owners of the property or not. But either way, whether they were or not, the Streets Chief Richmond supporter across the road <laughs> was saying that it is a tightly held area and that he and his family are the relatively newbies in the street 11 years ago. So as I said, this is an opportunity. The market is running, and if I use the word, and I don't really like using it, but I will, hot. Interest rates are the lowest they've ever been. And I want you to That's $200 or so a year in extra repayments, less than a dollar a day. Think about it in those terms, not in terms of hard, cold cash, but what you can borrow. I said, this is an opportunity for someone like to talk underwater with a mouthful of marbles. I don't intend to do that, mainly because I'm not underwater at the moment. But having said that, I'm going to ask you to start talking to me. Who'd like to buy? Number 12, start me somewhere. I don't mind where we start. I know there's a number of you who would like to buy it. Had the same reaction at the last auction we did that sold well. Just need somebody. There you go, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. I'm still talking, you're not. 
Thank you. At one million three hundred thousand dollars, and I'll take a twenty thousand dollar rise from there. At one point three million dollars. At one point three now, and I'll take a twenty thousand dollar rise anywhere. At one point three, the bid's behind me. At one point three now. At one million three hundred thousand dollars, take a twenty. At one point three. I'll, of course I'll take 50. At 1,350, what would you like to do, madam? Match it or give me another 1.3. There you go. At 1,350, there's the bid. At 1,350, you call it out, Jerome, I don't mind. At 1,350, the bid's there. At 1.35. At 1.35, take it at 1,375. And welcome to you too, sir. At one million three hundred and seventy-five thousand, round me up to one point four, sir. We'll go to two million dollars. <laughs> I thought I'd say that. One point four. At one million four hundred thousand dollars. There's the bid. At one point four. At one million four hundred thousand dollars. What would you like to do now, sir? I'll take your ten if it makes it easy. Four Don't one. be put off by him. At one point. One. So you give me the 10. Thank yeah, you. It's yeah. 410 I have now. I'm going to park the million. It makes it easier. I only had a high school education. It was a pretty good one. 1.42. At 1.42. At 420 now. At 420 I've got. At 420. At 420 I have. At 420 at 1,420,000. What are we doing, Sue? At 1,420,000. At 1,420,000. Now what would you like me to do? At 1,420,000. We on the market yet? I don't know, I haven't been given the nod. At one million four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. There's the bid. Over here. At one pillar four two. At one million four hundred and twenty. What about it? What would you like to do? Sure. At one million four hundred and twenty thousand dollars. At one million four hundred and twenty. Anywhere at all? Fifty. Fifty. Love your style, sir. At one million four hundred and fifty. At 1.45, 1.45, somebody's on the phone, we're getting instructions. At 1,450, there's the bid. At 1.45, sir, right now you don't own it. Nor does this gentleman, but he's in a position to. We're at 1,450. Is that on the market? Not yet. Okay, don't wait, Rick, help me get there. $1,450,000. I like that. We're selling. We're selling, there you go, there's your answer. At one million four fifty, the bid's here. We're on the market. Now what? One point four six. Four six. Four six. Seven. Seven. Forty. Eight. Four One point five. At one million five hundred. At one point five, I have. At one million five hundred thousand, there's the bid. Or anywhere else. What about you, madam? You sure? At one million five hundred thousand dollars. Anywhere else at all? We are selling. 20. 20. 20. Yeah, hey. 5.20. At 5.20 now. How are we going? That, we're doing all right? We're doing all right. We're doing all right. At 5.20, the bit's there. At 5.20. What would you like to do? 1 million, 5.20. Another 10. Keep thinking about it. I'll keep talking. Give you time to think. One million five hundred and twenty. Don't let him buy it on one bid. At one million five hundred and twenty thousand dollars, there's the bid, or anywhere else. At one million five hundred and twenty thousand dollars, first call at one point five two. Second call at one million five hundred and twenty thousand. Thirty at five thirty now. At five thirty. And the neighbours are saying, how good is this? One million five hundred and thirty the bids there, sir. Not with you anymore. I say that respectfully. A one million five hundred and thirty. Take another ten. At five thirty. At a million five thirty. First call at one point five three. Second call at one million five hundred and thirty. I'm one getting serious. Look. 1540. 1540. Welcome to you. 1,540. There's the bid. At 540 now. 1.54. Or anybody else with nerves of steel. Just hanging back, waiting. 
One million five hundred and forty thousand dollars. Fifty at five fifty. Sixty at sixty. You gotta love it. You know, real estate's good when people want to buy it. At five sixty. One point five six. Sir, give us some advice. Round it up to one point six. The really smile. The First, second, third, and final call. Now we're looking at each other. What do you want to do? There's nothing in it. I've never met the gentleman. Five sixty. Yeah, no, it's a wig. Mine's a wig. Seven five. Seven five. At seven five five seven five. What's that? 80? 80. 80. 580. 1.6. 1.6. Thank you. At 1.6. 1,600,000. Another 10. 610. 20. 30. Mm. At 30. 630. 1.63. 35. 35. Take the 5. 40. 40 now. 6.40. At 640, another five. 50. 650. You sure? Positive. Positive. 650. 1.65. Or anywhere else. We're awfully quiet over here. At 1.65. There's the big. Now the gentleman saying the money. Does this mean you fall? Get more of tickets tonight, mate. First. Second. Third and final call. Bid is here. Please, no late bid. When the contract hits my hand, there is no tomorrow in terms of buying this property. You all finished. All done. All silent. See, I'm serious now. Because it's going. Going. Are you sure? You're out. The gents, definitely out. Over here. Quickly. Sir, I saw you raise your hand. I know you've got a phone. Want to call it to me? Sorry? Absolutely. Want to give me? Sorry? 655. 60. At 60 now. At 60. 1.66. 1,660,000. What do you want to do, sir? You need to talk to me. Sorry, would you like me to talk to them? <laughs> I will. <laughs> 1.66. Come on, we're selling real estate, Bill. One, you sure? Done? Finished? $1,660,000. First, second, third and final call. Finished, silent and done. It is going. Says quietly, it's going. It's gone. Congratulations, well done. <laughs>